Welcome back. Long time no see. It's been well over a week. Uh, my half apologies for that. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's Sunday the 26th of February. It's 5 p.m. on the money. Uh, I've been a real good, good boy here lately. <laughs> In fact, this weekend I practiced being 46, uh, uh, actually 76, however you want to say that. And uh, yeah, it, it's time for a time to have a little Sunday fun day beer. Just one, maybe two, could be three. Not sure about four or five or six. Happy Sunday. Welcome back. Oh, that pot liquor tastes good. Woo! Wow. If you keep up with the channel, you know I got uh, I got a little sick again. A second time this winter. That never happens to me. Never. And, uh, <coughs> you know, the sickness, it went away. But that, that son of a gun lingered for days and days and days. I'm 90. 99% now, but uh, anyway, doesn't matter. I think it's been a very busy week, chaotic week. A lot of extra stuff went on. Um, that's kind of always the case, though, isn't it? Okay, this, uh, this smaller group that you see here, hey, you little shit. Uh, this is primarily, primarily kept back heifers. Uh, of course, there's a, there's a couple of what I'm going to call scrubs, and I hate that word, but a couple of scrubs in here. You're seeing one right there, and a, a couple of steers in here. Uh, they are going to get some company uh, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I'm moving 10 more animals in here. They are the 10 animals that make up the five in the, uh, the, the back pen of the barn. Uh, those were my winter TLC calves. And then, of course, the lean-to off the barn. So uh, 10 more are going to join join these uh, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, number one, they got their TLC. They're in great condition, great health. They got their grain. They've put on some very nice size. Um, <laughs> um, and they're, it, 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 I'm just going to say it's more convenient to get them in here. Uh, not to mention, um, uh, my life as I know it is changing come Sunday, come a week from today. Um, uh, patty cake time is over. Um, uh, we've got some contracts ready to hit. Uh, that's plur plural. And, um, what I'm trying to tell you is I'm very lucky and very fortunate, um, <clears throat> there's weeks that I, I need to take off for a few days. And I'm very lucky and fortunate that dad is able to come here, able, willing, and wanting to come here to run the minimal day-to-day -day stuff. Well, I need to I need to ease in things up a little bit, make them just a little cheaper, a little bit uh, a little bit easier. And deleting those two pens, which cause not an awful lot of extra work during the day. And weak is a good thing. So those are the reasons. They're going to be kicked out here. And uh, we're going to go from there. Uh, other than that, i got some other odds and ends going on this week. And uh, just a lot, of, uh, a lot of prepping and preparations for uh, uh, the, the time of the year to start changing. It's, it's, about, to get, uh, it's about to be a madhouse nuthouse. But... When the hell isn't it, for crying out loud. All right, folks, so here's the deal, if anybody's still watching. Uh, by the way, the cattle, the cows are doing fantastic. Uh, they're just loving this weather. By the way, as you can see, we, we got belted with a, a pretty, pretty damn nice storm uh, multiple days ago. It was supposed to be a hell of a lot worse than what we actually got, but it was it was a dandy. Uh, quite a bit of snow, a lot of blowing snow, and uh, multiple cleanups because of that wind factor. This was a very this was the lightest. Uh, I'm going to say lightest in weight 
snow I'd ever seen, if you can make that make sense. So with a little bit of wind, uh, we had a lot of drifting effects. <coughs> but everything turned out okay, you know, boo-hoo-hoo. Here we are now. It's, uh, I mean, I'm in a ball cap, for God's sakes, in the month of February. Uh, this is the most beautiful, calmest 27 degrees I've ever felt. It's dead quiet, no breeze, nothing. The sun's out full force. It has been all day. It's just beautiful. Now, we do have, uh, I am seeing some scares for tomorrow. Uh, they're calling for up to 8, 10 inches, and they've been deadly wrong all year. Um, of heavy wet snow and that that can be a bastard we're gonna see what happens roll through the punches and go through there go from there uh tuesday <laughs> tuesday we've got 40 degrees coming so okay a couple of big things maybe not big for you but big for me happened this week i came to graces on a couple of very big decisions um Oh, that's fantastic. Number one, my, and I can get a little analytical on some stuff once in a while. Why not? I really don't have anything else. My 2023 crop rotation, harvest, and planting report, that's what I call it, <coughs> even on my smaller scale is completed. I had a couple of heftier decisions that I needed to make that could have went one way or another. We've touched on a couple of them. We've touched on it, I believe, in the last, you know, large amount of handful of videos. It's done. It's done. Not changing my mind. In fact, this week, my finalization seed order is going in according to the plan that I have that's being stuck with. Uh, what I'm trying to get at here is I, I think that I see a future live stream this week. Um, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday evening. As always, there'll be ahead of time notice warning of what day and what time and all that other stuff. The other thing that we're going to cover, and I'm going to go ahead and disclose it to you. Why not? I had a very big major decision to make on this farm. I'm not going to disclose it to you now. We'll wait and make it fun. A couple of, a couple of cups of loudmouth soup and a live stream. There is a major decision that uh, I finally made. It was up for grabs. I've never spoken about it. Um, it was up for grabs last year. I decided not to, but it is happening this year. Uh, it is a major change of regiment uh, in business doings to this farm. That's the way I'm going to put it to you. And uh, I, uh, I will go ahead and fill you in on that live stream. Uh, it's all for the positive. Uh, some of you... Uh, you know, I hate to be so dramatic here and carry this on, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little fun with this. Um, I don't have a whole lot of fun. Nah, bullshit, I actually do. Uh, for some of you, it's going to maybe make your, uh, make your eyes roll. Some of you are going to nod your heads and say, touche. And I'll explain to you the uh, best that I can what route that I'm taking. Uh, I, I'm going to call it a very significant major change to this farm. That change is going to come this fall, late fall. But steps need to be had during the year for that change. Are all the cattle going? No. Is any of the equipment going? Absolutely not. Am I giving up any property? Hell no. <laughs> In fact, I could use another 100 acres. But uh, I'm going to share with you my very finely penciled regiment of uh, what is going to take place here on this farm and the goal here on forward. It's all you're getting from me. 
So yeah, uh, we're gonna keep the AI breeding out of this uh, uh, this live stream. Um, I am still not dead set on what road I'm gonna take on the uh, AI sires this year. I've I've nailed it down. Um, that'll be something different. Uh, this live stream this week is uh, going to be according to the uh, two avenues I just spoke of. And uh, we're going to make it fun. Uh, I dare say informative. Um, what I really like is uh, we're actually going to make it a, uh, uh, a forum, if you will. Do a little speaking about it, some positives, negatives, plus and minuses. And uh, just, uh, just make it fun. I know there's a lot of you out there that like to follow, you know, what, what goes on here, the regiment behind it, and I, I do really appreciate that. It makes it a lot of fun, folks, and that is the reason why I choose to uh, let you know exactly what I'm doing for the most part, and uh, we're going to make it fun on a live stream. That's really all I have, but uh, everybody's doing pretty damn good. Uh, if you had to make me guess... Uh, if there's, you know, there's there's a big change that I did make this year with these heifers, predominantly, primarily heifers, kept back heifers, is I opted to uh, try and uh, uh, save a penny or two without cheating animals, this farmer, myself, and I opted not to go with that everyday, very healthy grain ration, as you can see, otherwise you wouldn't see any snow in here. <laughs> Well, you know, we, we still got a couple months. And I'm just gonna say it. Uh, these these fantastic uh, girls here, they've they've got one hell of a growth spurt that's coming. Um, if you were to ask me, though, um, grain is a very big difference maker. Remember, we're still in February. Um, you know, I'm going to make my decisions in the spring, what stays, what goes to a feeder sale. But, uh, yeah, we got some good animals here, but I'm here to tell you, uh, I, I can already see the difference on no grain ration this year. Now they've stayed on predominant alfalfa, uh, lower moisture and high moisture all winter. Um, they're, they're doing great, but the grain ration is just... We'll put it to this way if I'm going to keep doing this, which of course I am. Um, my uh, my lazy rear end needs to spend that extra money. Uh, <laughs> famous words. And this lot, whatever is in here during the winter, does need their grain ration. Um, that is my simpleton's explanation to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already seeing a grave difference in grain and no grain. And rightfully so. But I'm going to continue this. I, you know, I like to try different things without cheating myself if I can help it. I am going to continue the program of no grain and just a, uh, I dare say, a diet of full alfalfa. And uh, if I have to make a change, which the writing's on the wall, I will make a change for next year. Yeah, a lot of, lot of changes in the works for uh, late this year and next year, folks. But uh, I'm going to keep you in a little suspense. I'm going to play with you just a little bit here, have a little bit of fun. We're going to have to wait for a live stream. And... Uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to have a nice discussion. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's doing pretty damn fair. Anybody wondering about the coyotes? The coyote, they're gone. Um, I can... Uh, um, <clears throat> I can very confidently tell you that I took out the alpha male. Uh, just, just by chance. I darn damn to it. Because since then, of course, a couple few days had passed. This this story is almost what two weeks old, I think. Um, there's there's two flocks of turkeys in here now. 
uh, deer all over the place. Uh, doesn't mean that they're gone, gone. No, -uh. no, no, no. But uh, there hasn't been any mischief since that Sunday morning. May or may not have had a few tricks too. <laughs> We're gonna, we gotta, we gotta stop there. But uh, that's it, folks. I'm enjoying this Sunday. Just uh, letting you know what's going on. Welcome back. Um, <coughs> and uh, let me get my affairs in order here the next couple of days. I got a lot on the burner. And uh, I will announce a, uh, a proper nice sit-down live stream. And we'll discuss the uh, avenues that I mentioned here this evening. And... Uh, from here on out, these live streams are going to become just a little more proper if you can make heads or tails of that. Uh, politics are going to stay out. Uh, some of the lewd behavior, <laughs> which is all on me, um, it's going to stay out. Uh, doesn't mean we're not going to have a couple bowls of loudmouth soup sitting there, a couple of brujanas too. But um, we're, we're going to clean it up just a little bit, and I dare, I dare say make it just a little bit more informative and create an actual forum, that's the way I like to put it, to speak, uh, sharing ideas, talking about what works, what does not. Um, you tried this this year, and it was a, it was a stellar, great performance or a fail. Stuff like that. I want to make it just a little more healthy, and that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. I'm going to have another beer. I am going to stock the wood furnace. And uh, I got some paperwork to do this evening. Uh, a little bit. And uh, I've got a very nice dinner. That I, it's going to be had this evening. A little bit of TV. And I'm going to go to bed. I got a big week. Got a few irons in the fire folks boo hoo hoo but fun and games are <laughs> they're about to be over but uh we're gonna go from there uh we're damn near almost 18 minutes here that's pathetic uh hope everybody's doing okay welcome back good to see everybody nice to check in apologize about my uh my absence uh that's that's just life sometimes and uh uh, you're going to see a video in the next day or two, and there will be an announcement on the, uh, the live stream that we're going to make fun and go from there. All right. I've repeated myself 10 different times here this evening. It's time for me to go. Have a great evening. Talk to you sooner and later.